Good evening, everyone. How are you? Brian Odir Perez, Ricardo Alexis Fuentes, Pedrina Iliana, Moisés Eduardo. <clears throat> okay. Welcome on board. Okay, good evening, everyone. Again, today is October the 28th. Today is October the 28th, and uh, we're going to be working on vocabulary practice. This is class 19, okay? We only have tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, our next class, and then, we finish next Friday, okay? Friday the 5th. So on Tuesday, we have no class, but we finish on Friday, right? <clears throat> so let's see, welcome to your English class. This is the general objective, the specific objectives. The objectives for tonight's class to give advice on how to monitor personnel and improve workplace operations. <clears throat> OK. These are the first things that we're going to begin with. But before we discuss the questions, I would like to check who is here and who isn't here. Anadelmi Carranza de Guzman. Brian Odir Perez Araujo. Brian Odir. Okay. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Dani Anthony Silva. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Excellent. Yeah. Welcome on board, my friend. You are the first to answer. Yes, ready. Right. Dolores Araí Molina. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández Molina. Eunice Abigail Chávez. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Guadalupe del Carmen, no. Jacqueline Melissa Delgadillo. Present teacher. Present. Jose Ignacio Franco. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Norberto Vasquez. No, Velasquez. <clears throat> okay. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Excellent. Welcome on board. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Okay. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Okay. Moises Eduardo Rivas. Present teacher. Excellent. Nelson Iván Hernández. Pedrina Iliana Gómez. Present teacher. Neos Baldo Bonilla. Okay. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present teacher. <clears throat> Excellent. Lorena Enríquez. 
Rudy Flores. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, welcome on board, my friend. Marvin Alexander Lopez and Victor Hugo Quintanilla. Okay, now let's move on. <clears throat> so ladies and gentlemen, tonight we're going to begin by discussing this question. Hello, present teacher. Hello, how are you doing? Present teacher, Dolores Araí. Yes, we finished already calling, taking roll. <laughs> okay, but the, the second call, the second call we're going to. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'm going to create the groups and uh, we're going to discuss these questions. The questions are, how do you, how do you define past? What is your definition for past? Are you happy with your past? What would you change if you could? What opportunities did you miss? How would your life be different now if you have taken opportunities? Teacher. Yes, Brian. Eh, estoy presente, pero nada más estoy escuchando. Es que voy hace unos momentos salí en la oficina, por eso es que no no puedo responderle en, en la asistencia. Don't worry, my friend. In the next one, you answer. It's okay. Gracias. Sure. <clears throat> Don't worry. Okay. Next question is, what have you learned from? Meet those opportunities, okay? So these are the questions that you need to discuss. Let's make the groups. Let me see. We have 15 people present. Let me see how many people are active. Active and present are two different things. Active are the ones that are participating and present are the ones that are here, but... Okay, some participate, others look. Whoops. I'm going to create five groups. Okay, groups have been created. Uh, you're going to be discussing the questions on page six, okay? page six of the class. I sent to the class in the WhatsApp group. Don Ricardo, now you can join the groups. Also Norbert. Don Ricardo, if you can join.
Uh, how do you define fast? What do you think is the meaning of the word pass? Can you hear me? Yes. Can you, can uh, you share? Can you share the screen? Yes, and then, then give me one moment in a second. I'm downloading. I, I, I. Okay. I'm ready. A moment, a moment, a moment. Okay. Can you see it? Yes, I see. Okay, number one, how do you find pass? Mm -hmm. Uh, I would like to study um, a, a master. In master. A master. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In, in Europe. In, in, in why? In Europe. Esa parte, esa palabrita, si no la entiendo. Ah, ya, ya, ya. In Europe. Uh -huh. Okay, and how do you define my, pass? In my cows. Hi, teacher. Oh. Hi, Danis. How can I help? The chair of the group, only, only me. And the other people are not in. Uh, I think no. Nobody else is working with you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to move you to another group. Okay. Thank you for yeah. that. Yes. Let's see. I'm going to move you to number two. Okay. Let's see. Okay.
play trombone y I play trumpet. Oh, different yes. instruments. Yes, eh, in both or ambos, both, 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 uh -huh, both, both, uh both, both, working in the, in the companies, in the insurance company. Okay, and, and do, and do, and you apply that knowledge here? Knowledge. Conocimiento. College. Knowledge. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, now my work, yes. Okay. Because the client asks me uh, for the name, the street, uh, donde fue el accidente. Okay. I, I know, I know, este. Where is? Name uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Great. And are you happy with your pass? Yes, yes, because I know este. Eh, Pedro, me voy a pensar cómo es. Eh, es como several, several moments in the history in, in my, my country. Por ejemplo, este, I can see the, eh, los de peace, los acuerdos de paz, I can see. I can see the eclipse in 1993. And, varios, como se dice? Many. Several. Many, verdad? Um, sí. Many uh, event in my, in my country mm -hmm. in very, very important in the history. Okay. Salvador. In, yeah, the, I, in the in the year that you mentioned, I was born. <laughs> yeah, are I, you happy with your pass? Yeah, yeah, I happy with my pass because I had the opportunity to to practice an sport, and yes. for this sport. Uh, I have been in many competitions and represent El Salvador. And I like when I was a child because my mom and my dad always support me. And I help and other children to practice the same sport. Okay. And consider that part of my life was really good because I received um, an scholarship to study a uh -huh, scholarship yes study in the university and study in, in my high school my high school and university too where did you study in high school and in university Okay, in high school I was studying Liceo Juan Bueno San Benito. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. The Reforma Street. Yeah. <laughs> eh, y en un, university? In the university in Tecnológica. La Tecnológica. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. este, you are es, a professional. Uh, I, okay. yeah, yes, I, I study international business. International? Business. Ah, okay. Well, very good. Yeah, are you have your have your was have este free study for the your deport? My my uh -huh, my career four years uh, in this payment the career. With uh, the Tecnológica. Uh -huh. uh, you are... okay. I'm to study for Atlas. Okay. Study. You were, you were part of team of El Salvador. Yeah. 
en Codicader. Yeah. I want oh. three Codicaders. Wow. Uh -huh. oh. uh, yeah. I, uh, I think all of part of my life just training. Huh? Training, running. And sometimes I sleep <laughs> and study. Okay. And, and sometimes was a sacrifice. Uh -huh. But uh, I consider it was a good experience. I like, really, I like. Mm -hmm. I think, chair, we finish. Finish, right? Yeah. We're going to go back to the main group. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye, Jerry. Bye, bye, Guadalupe. No. Uh... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we are 19 people, 14 active. Okay, so 14 people active participating. So that's fantastic. Uh, now we're going to discuss these other questions. How are employees monitored at your company? What kind of documentation is used in your company? to make sure your employees are doing a good job and you're going to practice this conversation. But before you practice it, because eh, this you have to do this, this and this, I'm going to, money, eh, let's say, model it for you. It says take turns practicing the model conversation. Kitchen manager, KM, Mary M are talking about Mario's absence. Where's Mario? He's late for his shift. Mario, goodness, I got a call that he's very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry, he should have called me directly. If he had called me, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay, again. Where's Mario? He's late for his shift. Mario? Where's Mario? Uh -huh. He's late for his this shift. Ship. For this his shift. Mario? Goodness. I got a call. Yes. Very Mario? Mm -hmm. Mario? Goodness. I got a call that he's very, he's very sick. I should, have, I should have told you earlier. I should have told you early. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't, Don't worry. worry. He should have called me directly. He should have called me directly. If he had called me, if he had called me, I could have found a substitute by now. I have no. no. time this afternoon. I have time, time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Let me Let cover, me cover for him. Okay. So, my dear one, you're going to go back with different partners. You're going to be discussing these questions on page eight. Nine, ten, and eleven. Okay. No, from eight to eleven. Eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay. They are only very short questions. But 
you will discuss them with your partners. We are going to have, and then we're going to work together on some exercises. Let me see. Uh, I wanted to create the groups manually, but it takes a long time. So, okay. To create them again. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. I created the groups again. The groups are open. I hope you have a group. Hi, Nadine. Hi, Guadalupe. How are you? Fine. Fine. Fine, too. Hi, hey. hey, Guadalupe. Hi. Fine. You? Fine. Fine. But only. Only is hot in Soyapango. Really? Maybe it's, maybe 30, 31 or 32. Maybe very high. Nadel, me, how are you? Hi, Ignacio. I, I shared the, the, the exercise. De ahí lo practicamos. Eh, una vez así como solo y ahí nos volvemos a, a unir man. yes vale who is Mario he is late for his seat eh, Mario goodness I got I got a call that's the he is very sick I shouldn't told you early don't I worry should have told you should have told you Okay. Don't worry. He should call it my dirt. He should have called me directly. He should call have me. called me directly. Directly. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If if he how call call me, I could found a substitute by now. Could have found could have found i could have found a substitute by, by a substitute by now i have time this afternoon 
let let me call for 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 him let me yes. call, call let for him cover for him mm -hmm. let me cover for him i have time this afternoon i have time this afternoon let me cover for him for him. let me cover for him yes thank you uh, i say in the second dialogue is i sure I should have told you early. I should have told, told you. I should have told you earlier. I should have told you earlier. Earlier. Okay. I should have told you earlier. Uh, y el otro es, he should have called me directly. Así es para teacher. I should have called me directly. Yes, like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Voy a ser a kid, kid manager. Where's Mario? He's late for the document to like a bill of lint. Um, air, air, air of lint. Yeah, area teacher. <laughs> Airline. Airlines. Airlines. Mm -hmm. Okay. And all the document to import. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, maybe it's like a, a manual. Uh, no. And it's when the, the company both different things and you introduce to the country paid uh, taxes mm. and receives in the customs. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got mm. it. Okay, and the third is to make sure employees are doing a good job. Uh, maybe it's the, the same question, but kind of definition is using your company to make sure employees are doing a good job. Uh, so in my case, is the check and the survey. In your case, what is the documentation that your boss is using to evaluate what you, how do you do work uh, okay. and how they are and how uh, he makes sure you are doing okay. well? Yeah, every six months, uh, okay. twice a year, uh, we have um, a little bit evaluation. Uh, oh. They, we make a report, okay, every mm -hmm. report, and, and that report uh, brings some information of our job. For example, the time to I uh, spend to import uh, the, the, the buy. Mm -hmm. the, uh -huh. Um, Hello, teacher. Can you help me? Hello, my friend. Are you working? Uh, please put the the picture again. What picture, my friend? The slide. Oh, the slide is on, and the document is in your WhatsApp. Okay, what number, what the page is? Eight, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Um, are the other people working with you? Or are you alone? No. Teacher. Hello. In my head, I'm working in, in my phone. Oh, okay. Today, you don't have your computer, Norbert. Yes. Just how computer. Uh,
okay. Well, what find the document in working, right? Well, hey. How about Renee? How are you doing, Renee? I don't have pictures of teacher because for that reason I couldn't participate. The information is in the WhatsApp group. Yes, but I just I just have information in my telephone. You can use the telephone to read the, the information. Okay. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Norberto. Hello, Norberto. Eh, Tienes las preguntas. Yes, for example, okay. the first question is, how are employees monitored at the company? Eh, okay, in my company, eh, monitoring our, uh, our employees, which, 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 um, eight and thirty five. If my boss uh, called me on the phone, I must answer. That is my opinion about the monitored employees in our company. They, they use the cell phone, but, oh, sorry, because the cell phone is property of the company. Your cell phone? Is property of the company. Ah, they give you a cell phone. Yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> Uh, we 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 have two cell phones at the company and the your personal line. cell phone the your personal. personal cell phone and the and the one that they give you. okay yeah is a for is our company okay uh, next uh, the second question what kind of documents document is used in your company to make sure employees are doing a good job. What kind? What kind? What kind of documentation is used in your company to make sure employees are doing a good job? Um, maybe a report. Report. Mm -hmm. Report. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a document, it's okay. Graphic, maybe. Uh, graphic. Graphic. Mm. Of comparison uh, years, um, for years. The comparative. comparative. The comparative, exactly. Okay, um, in our company to use a uh, work order, uh, any any work order have a, a number, and uh, in if if I we, we have oh, if I have a number eleven, for example. The work order 11 is my, my responsibility to complete correctly and in, in good job. It's a document for use in my company. Yeah. Okay. 
una orden de trabajo. Uh -huh. En tu caso, eh, Ricardo. O Anadelmi. Mm. Tables Dynamics. Dynamic table. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y si we are practice teacher. Uh, Arias says some. Have you finished? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You get to page 11, right? Why? Page 11. Okay. We are waiting for rector and meeting. Okay. General meeting. All right. So you finish page 11. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, now the groups have closed. Let's continue. How did you complete this one? Not yet. I call. I call. Ah. The yeah. time is over before. <laughs> the time was was over before it's you. Over. Uh -huh. Okay. Some people finished it. How did you do it? I should have. Should have told you. Uh, I should have. I should have told. Should have. Told. I should have told you. I should have told. I should have told you earlier. Mm -hmm. And what about the number two? He should. He should have called it. Call me. He should have called call, call it. He should have called me directly. He should have called me directly. Mm -hmm. Excellent. What about number three? How did you complete three? If I could have found. Could have found. Could have found. Me what? Could have. Um, I could have found um, substitute by now. I could have found um, substitute. No. And this one, the, que the first question is more like a uh, boss, bosses, a uh, question, right? Like a question for a boss. OK. 
Okay. Have you ever gotten a last minute notice about a member of your staff not going to work? You say, hello, I'm sick, I can't go to work. Five minutes to eight? Uh, yes, I just woke up. <laughs> I'm very sick. I have the COVID-21. No COVID-19, COVID-21. <laughs> and you say, oh, okay, too bad. How did you handle the situation? Did you get angry and pull your hair? Why did you call me at this time and why right now? Why didn't you call me before? And did you get a substitute? Did you assume some of the absent employees responsibility? Like sometimes the boss, some bosses take the responsibility of some workers when they are absent, okay? Well, those are the questions. Now, let's continue. Look at the examples in the box. Perfect models to express regret or remorse about past actions. Let's see, maybe not, maybe not remorse, but regret, yes. Okay, regret is to say that you are sorry sorry that you did something or that you didn't do something, okay. that is regret. You feel sorry, feel sorry that you did or didn't do something. Remorse is more like you feel pain for something that you did. And you feel like um, more than regret. Okay, more like remordimiento, right? More like remorse, but remordimiento. <laughs> okay, so more like that. Okay, you should have past, past participle about regrets. I should have sent the report sooner. I shouldn't have asked her to carry those boxes. They are very heavy. I shouldn't have asked her to eat those boxes. Okay, for the other one. Um, could would are often used with if, if had and the past participle. So that is a conditional, third type of conditionals, right? If I had known you were sick, I could have gotten a substitute. The manager, could have fixed your schedule if you had mentioned it to him. I would have come to work if I had received the schedule on time. Okay, do you remember I explained this yesterday? You the board? Probably you remember the board, yes? You remember? She should have eaten breakfast. He could have asked for help. He would have helped you, right? I sent you this document too, is the board. The notes that we were taken, right? And those, those were the last notes that we made. Okay. Back to the class. Let's say some examples. People could do so much for their community. This, this is the simple, right? But I couldn't have said better myself. I couldn't have, couldn't have, right? We have like this. You say, how do you pronounce it? 
Cure. Cura. Cura. Item. Okay. Cura is this part. Cura. Let's see. No. Okay. It's not working. Let me see why it's not working. Perhaps if I do it the other way around, it's not working either. This It has effect right now. Well, let's see if I do it this way now. No way does it shade it. It doesn't shade it anyway. Okay. Let me see. Well, no problem. it's all right. Could have is all of this. Could have is could have. And this is eaten. Could have. Could have eaten. Could have, could have eaten. eaten. Negative. Wouldn't have done. Pronunciation is. Wouldn't have done. Wouldn't have. Wouldn't have. Wouldn't have. Done. Couldn't have done. Couldn't have done. Could have eaten. Couldn't have done. Could have eaten. Couldn't have. Done. Okay. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. I have a question. Sure. Uh, pronunciation de co is una pronunciación en inglés británico o inglés americano. Okay. Good question, my friend. Both. Only that British don't say good enough. They say more like good enough. Good enough. Yeah. They say, for example, Americans say more like with an good enough. Good enough. Depending on the area, the, depending on Hampton, for example, in Southampton, they say good enough. Good enough. So, good enough, or Scotland, they say good enough too, good enough. But they have a particular O, good enough, like that. I could enough done it. Yes. That answers your question, Guadalupe. That's it. Oh. I am Claribel, teacher. <laughs> um, <laughs> Entonces, todo este tiempo me ha enseñado mala pronunciación de cold. Ok, Claribel. Dice que era cold y cold. What yes, Clar I am Claribel. What Claribel, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> really, I don't have Claribel in the class. <laughs> I, don't have a, I don't have a Claribel in class and I said, mm -hmm. yes. Um, don't worry. Median Claribel picture. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ah, you are Guadalupe's daughter. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Teach about Guadalupe. 
she cannot have a daughter your age. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry. Um, some people they could have eaten, could have eaten. It's okay, I mean, but it's okay if you say, it, but it's not okay. It's not okay if you listen to, I mean, because the people will not tell you could have it. They will tell you could have eaten. And uh, if you're accustomed to could have eaten, you have a problem, right? Stand. So because good enough, oh, she couldn't have been there because she was here all the time. She the money disappeared. She couldn't have taken it because she wasn't there. She was here all the time. She couldn't have done it, right? That's the way it's, it's pronounced. I can, I can show the audio. Let's see. Are you? It's possible that you will. Let me see if I can have like. Okay. Yeah, they have a dog. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, actually, I don't have any pronunciation here to show you. But. Teacher, es solo que ahí es, la R es R, ¿verdad? Curan. Cura. Curan, eh, así, ¿verdad? Yes. Let me let me show you an audio. Uh, I'm going to look in another place, but I'm not going to show you. So it's more like this is for you to to see. Uh -huh. Let's see. Only for you to hear because I don't have permission to list to to use this audio in this class. No permission is given, but let me see if only for a moment, uh, only one time, let me see. No, let me see, I'll, I'll tell you right now. It's difficult because I have to find the, the number and I don't know the number of, of this. But, um, Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe if you listen to this, but listen. Okay. Only for a moment. Okay. Can you hear it? You can. No. Can you hear it? Yes. Yes, teacher. You, yes, teacher. Okay. Let's see. Can you hear? Yes. And, and video or audio? 
is or you, your voice, or the audio. No, teacher. No, no. you cannot hear the audio. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, only my voice. You see him. Uh -huh. Let me see if I can if I can do include the audio because actually okay. you should be able to hear it now. Unit eight, lesson two. They may have left the house. Listen. It might yes. have happened sure. fast. It might have happened fast. I could have screamed. I could have screamed. She must have known the truth. I could have screamed. I could have screamed. She must have known could have screamed. I could have screamed. Okay, did you hear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Some information to share audio with you, my friends. This is only for, I mean, um, because, uh, how can I tell you? Um, <laughs> yeah, you're right that you don't have to believe my word, right? You don't have in my word. I have been a teacher for 30, let me see. I don't remember how many years. I began in 1985, so you can think like, I don't know, how many years? 36 years? Yes, right. So, and I would never tell you a lie, but okay. So, but this is the idea, could have, could have. Let's continue before Cari falls asleep because, okay, check over here. People could have, okay, you say, I couldn't have said it better myself. We could have left the party earlier. Okay. Let me see. We have, um, we could have left earlier. The girl was crying because she couldn't find her toys. You could have stopped by the grocery store. You could have stopped by the grocery store. We need some milk. I couldn't have done it without you. I could have done it without you. Okay, now we have for present or future and for the past. For, okay, check over here. I was late. My phone wasn't working. And then the other person says, yeah, but you could have called me. You say, yeah, but you could have called me, right? I was late, my phone wasn't working. Yeah, but you could have called me, but my phone wasn't working, okay? I couldn't have called you. You say, que la cagada de la ciudad. Emoji. 
Okay, I couldn't have called you because my phone wasn't working. So now we should have. But before before we continue, let's let's call roll. Anadelmi Carranza de Guzmán. Present teacher. Okay. Brian Odir Perez. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Present teacher. Okay. Dani Anthony Sigüenza. Danis Alberto Fuentes. Present. Dolores Saraí Molina. Present teacher. Okay. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Present. Okay. Very good. Eunice Abigail Chávez. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Excellent. Jacqueline Melissa Delgadillo. Present teacher. Very good. Jose Ignacio Franco. Jose. Present teacher. Excellent. Sure. Norbert. Present. Excellent. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Present. I'm here. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Ah, that's why I didn't remember. I remember Miriam, but I didn't remember. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. It's all right. Moises Eduardo Rivas. Okay. Nelson Ivan Hernandez. Present teacher. Nelson. Present, present teacher. Okay. Excellent. Pedrina Iliana Gomez. René Osvaldo Bonilla. René? No. Okay. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present teacher. Excellent. Yes. Okay. L Claudia Loren Enriquez. Marvin Alexander López. Rudy Josué Flores. Present teacher, I'm here. Excellent. Victor Hugo Quintanilla. Okay. A, a piece of information about the attendance, my friend. Uh, I only write press. Okay. If, if you respond, I write present. If you don't respond, I write absent. How Dr. Teacher, in my case, I I have a, a, a te tuve una llamada en el momento. Don't worry, my friend. No, I'm not saying it for you. This is I general, don't know. This is for general information. And for me. Pues no vino, René. No, this is general information. Okay, what I want to say is this. Some people are alert. Some people are alert for the present, present, present. But the rest of the class, they are alert. They are not present. Yes. Um, let me tell you that I write present. When you tell me present, I write present. Fire. But um, the, the institution monitors how, I mean, how active you are in the class. They check, they are checking and they write the number of minutes that you are present. I don't, I don't write the number of minutes. I only yeah. write present, present. But they check if you are present only to say present, they see that the rest of the minutes you are not present. So, for example, some people here I have, they are present only 59 minutes, 
88 minutes, five minutes, 91 minutes, and things like that. Why? Because people are ready to say present. <laughs> Let me tell you that this is not the only important thing. Saying present is excellent, but being actually present is the best. Yes. So uh, I tell you because they are monitoring and at the end they count, they count the numbers of active participation in the class. So the numbers, uh, are written at the end how many minutes you are present from the total number of minutes. Let's see, um, let's see, I cannot show you because the document, but believe me when I tell you that you need to, to be present in most of, of the class, okay? So that you need to have an 80% in participation and 80% in attendance, at least, so that you get your 80% to pass. If not, the scholarship is removed, okay? And then they say, the teacher didn't help me. <laughs> I cannot do anything, okay? I only write present or absent. They monitor, they check, and they see if you are working. And some people are not doing the homework. So if you are not doing the homework, please do it. Tomorrow is Friday. On Saturday, I check the grade, the average, and I write it on the list. And uh, if you didn't work before, I add it so that you can have all the information. Okay, so I want to tell you this because I want no surprises, teacher, but I was there. Okay, so I'm telling you, I don't want you to feel bad at the end of the course. I made my effort, but I didn't pass. Okay. The most important is be present, be active, participate, practice. Do the, do the platform, do the homework, do the midterm exam, and do the final exam, and you will get the 80%. And then you pass. Okay, that is the idea. All right, let's move to more, I mean, to happier things. Okay, let's move to happier things. Okay. Don't be sad because you still have time to do it, okay? Let's continue. So more examples we have would have. So we use, I would have come, I would have come if you had told me earlier. If I had gone to Oxford University, I would have hated it because it's very difficult, okay? If Messi had scored, Barcelona would have won when Messi was there. Now he's in PSG. Oh, no. <laughs> now he's in PSG. I would have gone to the wedding, but my son got sick. Okay. How do we use, what's the difference between the two? Okay. Let's see. Let's begin from the beginning. Should have. There is a situation, okay? Like, um, I had an accident. Okay, what are the options? You could have called the police. You could have called the insurance company for call the car police. accident. Uh -huh. And of course, you could have called the insurance company. Insurance company. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have the two. These are options. 
options that you didn't take. This you didn't take. I had an accident, but you could have called the police. You didn't call the police. You could have called the insurance company. You didn't call the insurance company. Okay, which of the two is the best? You should have called me. <laughs> you should have. You should have called me. And uh, I would have helped you. I would have helped you. What's the meaning? This is what I would have done. Te habría ayudado. I would have helped you. I would have helped you. You should have called me. Debiste haberme llamado. I, you should have called me. Podrías haber llamado a la policía. Option. But you didn't do it. You should have called me. That is a very good idea. I would help you. This is what I would have done. Okay. So you have, this is the, the difference between the three. Okay. Let's continue. Exercise. This one, I decided to do it together because time. I want to see if we understand it. Complete the sentences with should, could, would have, in the verb in the past participle. Okay. The first is an example. If the servers had received a proper training, they could have answered the customer's questions. This is the example. How do you complete number two? Shouldn't, shouldn't take. Shouldn't have taken. No, they shouldn't have taken. Yeah, yeah. The bartender shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. More than uh -huh. The bartender shouldn't have taken that bottle of wine without permission. Right? Shouldn't have taken. Should have taken that bottle of wine without permission. What about number three? How do you complete three? <laughs> server. The server. Would have been. Mean. Excellent. Servers would have been what? In a trouble if, you, if they had been late for the meeting. Uh, in trouble if they had been late for the meeting. Uh -huh. Would have been. Were they in trouble? No. They would have been. They would have been, but they were not. Right? They were not in trouble. Okay. Number four. What are you using number four? You can shouldn't ask the manager for a day off. Uh -huh, you should. You shouldn't have asked. Yes, you should have. Asked. Day off. Exactly. You should have asked. You should have asked the manager for a day off. Okay, excellent. Ahora sí ya le entendí la idea, ¿verdad? Porque yo dije, you can shoot it, pero no pueden ir los dos, ¿verdad, teacher? 
Porque no. el sure es como la posibilidad, ¿verdad? No, sure is eh, advisability. What is okay to do? What is recommendable to do? Okay. Let's see, number five. Okay. Cashier, what? Negative? Sure. 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 They can I be should, similar to I should, I should, I should have uh -huh. I should call him to the call. I should have I should have called. Excellent. I should have called. Should have called. I should have called. I should have called to let the manager to let the manager. We're missing I, something. Did you hold the hold um, the pass? Sorry. In the manual. Page. in the manual, what page is it? Eighteen. Manual. Let me see what page is in the manual. I, uh, I'm waiting. The manual is number thirty. Thirty, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. I'm going to show it to you in the manual. Yeah. Um, here is missing. Let the manager know. But don't worry. I'm not going to write on the manual. That's why I do it in the, in the class so that I don't write on the manual. But here is, I should have, okay, I should have called to let the manager know I was sick. Let the manager know I was sick. But don't worry, this, I mean, mistakes, everybody makes mistakes, it's normal. So, questions? Questions so far? No, no. no. For the moment, for the moment. Oh, teacher. Oh, okay, but don't worry. No, es que ahora sí entendí, teacher. Bien. Sí. ¿Cómo usarlo? Excellent. Very good. Could have, should have, would have. Make correct past modal form. Use could have, would have, or should have and the verb in the past participle. Use negatives when needed. Number one, buy bread, but I didn't know we needed it. What do we use? Shouldn't. Should have, right? Should have. Should have. Should have. Should have. Should have. Okay. So I think it's going to be Should have bought. Because I don't have money. Uh, no, it's not I didn't buy. It means I didn't buy, but I should have bought. Okay, let me see. I think that I'm going to need another shot. Okay. I'm going to need another shot at the board. Okay, so I should have bought, I should have bought bread, but I didn't know we needed. Okay, let me see. Let me show you here. This is the way we use it. Okay. I came late. And then I say, what do I say? I shouldn't have come late. Okay. 
You say teacher and why the verb in the present? No, it's not in the present. Come, came, come. The present and the past participle are the same. Come, came, come, become, became, become, the same. So it's not in the past tense. Okay, another example. I miss class. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have missed class. I shouldn't have missed class. I miss class. I shouldn't have missed class. I didn't call my boss. I didn't call my boss. What do you say? I, what? Shouldn't. I should have. I should have called my boss. I didn't call my boss. I should have called my boss. Okay. Another example. I didn't mention the problem. I didn't mention the problem. What do you say? I shouldn't should have made some. I should have mentioned, mentioned the problem. The problem. Y ahí se podría combinar con el de arriba, teacher. Un ejemplo, ¿verdad? En una situación real. Uh, all these are situ real situations. <laughs> <laughs> Or what do you want to say, Marvin? Yes, yes. O sea, I, I be sick. I should have had mentioned the problem my boss. I should have called my boss. I was sick. I was sick. I was sick. I should have mentioned the situation to my boss. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was sick. I should have mentioned the situation to my boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. The This is another, this is real too. I didn't study the lesson. I didn't study the lesson. What do you say? I should have. Should have. I should have. Should have. The lesson. So, if it's affirmative, you say shouldn't. If it's negative, you say should have. Like, I ate too much. I ate too much. I shouldn't have eaten so much. I didn't eat. Would have eaten. Didn't eat. I should have, I came late. I shouldn't have come late. I lied. I shouldn't have lied. lied. Okay, okay, I lied. I lied means menti, right? I, what do you say? I lied. 
Uh -huh. I, I don't was be sick. Oh, okay. Yes. I lied. I wasn't sick. I shouldn't have lied. I shouldn't have lied. Shouldn't have lied. I lied. I, I shouldn't. I lied. Okay. I shouldn't have lied. I shouldn't have lied. Lied. I shouldn't have lied. Uh -huh. I shouldn't have lied. I shouldn't have lied. Okay. Okay. Okay, dokie. So, my friends, questions about this one? Um, you didn't invite me. I would have gone. So you say, you didn't invite me. I would have gone. Right? No me invitaste, yo habría ido. Right? You didn't invite me. I would have gone. Gone. Para decir, da, ¿por qué no fuiste a la fiesta? Por un ejemplo, ahí. Ah, exactly. Why, Why didn't you go to the party? You didn't invite me. I would have gone. You didn't invite me. I would uh -huh. have. Y esa se combina, ¿verdad? You didn't invite me. I, I would have had one. I would have gone. I would have gone. I would have, I would have gone. gone. Would have gone. Okay, another example. Uh, she didn't ask she didn't ask me for help you think I say I I shouldn't call me I would have helped her She didn't ask me for help. No me pidió ayuda. I would have helped her. Yo le habría ayudado. I would have helped her. I would have, I would have helped her. I would have helped her. Another example. He didn't say he was hungry. He didn't say he was hungry. I, what? I would have I would have treated him to lunch. I would have treated him to lunch. I would have treated him to lunch. Treated means to treat. Let's go to eat. I pay. Let's go to eat. I pay. Treat. I would have treated him to lunch. Okay. The last example with would have. He needed money, but he didn't tell me. He needed money, but he didn't tell me. I, what? What, I would have? Would have helped. 
I would have lent him some. I would have lent him some. He needed money, but he didn't tell me. I would have lent him some. Okay. Could have. I had a flat tire. What do you say? I could have helped change it. You understand tire? Yes, yes. Okay. She didn't ask me okay. for help. Flat tire. And then another person says, I could have helped you change it. Yes. I could have helped you change it. Podría haberte ayudado a cambiarlo. Right? I could have helped you change it. Okay. Another example. She woke up late. She woke up late. She could have. She could have uh, taken a taxi. She could have taken a taxi or she could have taken an Uber, right? She could have taken taxi. She could have taken an Uber. Yo vi un ejemplo parecido a ese en un video, teacher, que le dice she she cura she cura de que se vaya como a despertar temprano a dormir temprano para no dormirse. She should have should have debió haberse. She should have gone to bed earlier. She should have gone to bed earlier. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, she should have. Should have. Okay, let's continue, my dear. All right, number two. What do we say for number two? We invite so, so many people to our party. I'm worried that we won't have enough room for everyone. What do we say? We shouldn't. <laughs> shouldn't, exactly. Should have, sorry, have invited who have, the lines are too small. Maybe tiny, very tiny, really, really small. Okay. We shouldn't have invited so many people to our party. I'm worried that we won't have enough room for everyone. Number three. What do we say three? I sure is. I should have. Mm -hmm. I should have started, right? I should have started. Mm -hmm. Would have started saving money years ago. I should have started saving money years. Ago. Okay, number four. We should sure enjoy. We would have. Joined. Let me see if the size is right. Okay. We would have we would have joined you at the restaurant 
but we couldn't get a babysitter. We would have joined you, okay? But we couldn't get a babysitter, okay? Eh, nos habríamos unido o, o nos habríamos reunido contigo en el restaurante, right? But nos habríamos. Okay, so the weather. The weather. So this is impossible. What do we use? Uh, couldn't. Couldn't. The weather couldn't have been any worse. The weather couldn't have been any worse. The weather couldn't have been any worse. Okay. Number six, arrived on time, even if I left earlier. There were dreadful traffic jams all the way. Dreadful means terrible, terrible traffic jams all the way. So what do you say? I wouldn't have, wouldn't have, right? Wouldn't. Okay. Arrived. Arrived. What's the meaning? Podría haber llegado a tiempo. No habría. Okay. He llegado a tiempo, aun si hubiese salido más temprano. I wouldn't have arrived. No habría. You remember would and have is habría. Negative, no habría. No habría llegado. Okay. I wouldn't have arrived on time even if I had left early. Even if I had left early. Okay. Number seven. What do you say seven? They. Similar? Habría ganado? They would have. Yes, they, they would have. have. They would have. Uh -huh. They would have won. They would have won the football match. But John hurt his ankle. Somebody said excuses, excuses. Okay. Let's see. The other one. Amanda what? Finished the work, but she felt ill and had to go home. What do we say? Amanda? Could have or would have. Could have, could have finished. Would have, would have finished the work. Or would have finished the work. It's okay. Amanda could have finished the, the work, but she felt ill and had to go home. Should have, losing should have. You, uh -huh. you may use could have or would have in this position. Now the next one, Lucy. Should have. Should have left earlier, right? She missed her flight. Mm -hmm. Should have. Okay. Lucy should have left earlier. Flight. Okay, number 10. <laughs> Mm 
What are you saying, number 10? Finish the game, even if we wanted to. It was raining very hard. We had to stop. Sure, and I think sure and finish the game. In this case, couldn't have finished. Couldn't. 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 Mm -hmm. No podríamos haber terminado. Uh -huh. Finished, no fished. Finished. Okay. So we couldn't have finished the game, even if we wanted to. Aún si hubiésemos querido. Right, we couldn't have finished the game even if we wanted to. It was raining very hard and we had to stop. Okay, number 11. Okay, number 11, eat so much chocolate. I feel yes. sick. Oh, I, I ate too much chocolate, I feel sick. What? I couldn't eat so much chocolate. I shouldn't have eaten. I shouldn't have eaten so much chocolate. I feel sick. Okay. My dear Nimitos, don't feel bad if you don't understand the topic completely because this topic is advanced, not intermediate, okay? It's advanced, but okay, we have to do it, right? Okay, 12, look, what? Pass the exam if he studied a bit more. Would have. Would have, right? Oh, yes. Would have. Would have passed. Okay. By the way, this is a cap captious question. Have you studied the conditionals? Yes. Yes. The third type. The third type of condition. Maybe yes, maybe not. This is the third type of condition. Probably, probably. Yes, if I had won the match, I would have been the champion. Dejale entrar, Conta. Okay, Mickey, if I had won the if I had won the match, I would have been the champion. Okay. This is a conditional sentence, right? Past tense, I didn't win the match. I am not the champion. If I had won the match, I would have been the champion. Si hubiera ganado, si hubiera ganado el juego, habría sido el campeón. Right? Conditional sentence. I didn't win. I am not the champion. Another example is, If I if had study, if I would have. If I had, I would have passed. I would have passed the lesson. Uh -huh, if I had studied the lesson, I would have passed the course. Would have passed the course. Okay.
If I had studied the lesson, I would have passed the course. Hubiera, hubiese, habría. If I had studied the lesson, I would have passed the course. I didn't study the lesson, I didn't pass the course. The last example, if I hadn't, if I hadn't been there, she would have been in trouble. If I hadn't been there, she would have been in trouble. She would have been in trouble. If I hadn't been there, she would have been in trouble. Okay. Let's see, let's continue with the exercise. Let's see, what, what do you do for 13? Number 13. My friends, call Amy, but he right. did, okay. He didn't have her number. John, would have, would have. Mm -hmm. Okay, John would have called Amy. John would have called Amy. He didn't have her number. Number 14, be rude to him. He's going to be really angry now. You? Okay, should enough. Been. Been. Shouldn't have been rude to him. You shouldn't have been rude to him. He's going to be really angry now. Number 15, come to the restaurant. If she'd left work earlier, what do we say? She. Ura. Ura. She would have, uh -huh. she would have, right? She would have come to the restaurant if she'd left work earlier. Number 16, take, it, take this job. I can see you're not enjoying it. You? Sure. Okay. You shouldn't have taken, you shouldn't have taken this job. I can see you're not enjoying it. Okay, 17, the race was really difficult. She? Uh -huh. she couldn't. couldn't have won. She couldn't have won uh, because she's not fit enough. Our neighbors. Shouldn't. Cut, mm -hmm. cut down the street. Should, shouldn't have cut. Shouldn't have cut down the tree. In, in their garden, it was beautiful, okay. So with this, with this one, we finished. Now this one for homework, but there are only six. Well, seven sentences, 19, 20, 21, and 24 to 25. Okay, this situation, we need to check it in the review tomorrow, okay? We're going to begin with this part.
Okay. So, let me read it for you. Okay. Money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can't tell who took it. What do you say? What sentences can you make? I can see the video cameras for the company. Oh, okay. I should have looked at the videos. I should have looked at the videos, right? What else? What other options are there? Money has the other option would be uh check all all the money in the cash in the cashier and uh, check the the sales of the day and check the the movies of the employee of cashier okay yes they should have checked how much money was coming in and they should have seen uh, where the cashier was and what he was doing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Number two, someone took three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant, but none of the servers has reported the issue. Three bottles of the finest wine. but nobody has reported the issue. What do you think should be done? Okay, the, the manager of the restaurant could have a question of his employees, what's, what's up with the, with the bottles and check the webcam of the security well uh, for for the answer the where is the the three water uh -huh. they could have checked the cameras to see who had broken them okay mm -hmm. all right number three the customers complain that my servers take too long to deliver the food what should i do I should get angry at the servers? Not right. Uh, because uh, sometimes when the situation uh, is uh, give up my present, for example, a dessert for the long time to deliver or, or Apologize. Yes, we apologize for the situation because the restaurant is very full and the time to attend is very, very slow. Uh -huh, very, yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you think that I should have trained, I should have trained my cost, no, I should have trained my servers better? for them to work more efficiently? Yes, right, maybe. Okay, number four, the kitchen manager has been stealing stuff from the storage room. Stealing stuff, food, right, cheese, meat, chicken has been disappearing. What do you think I should have done? I should have, 
assign a storage only to one person and the person with a key, with a key, so that if something disappears, I should have write the inventory. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Should write the inventory and see. Okay. Let's see. The schedule is a mess. So it is very difficult for staff to understand it. Okay. What do you think I should have done? I should have sent to a schedule to a schedule for the email. Yeah, I should have organized the schedule in a simpler way, in a much easier way for Sometimes people. Can... Yes, Carlitos. Sometimes many people cannot uh, create a, a good schedule for the other uh, employees to understand. In this case, uh, the manager uh, will be layered to make a good schedule for the old people understanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he should be trained. He should be trained to make good schedules. Okay, excellent. Well, my friends, I'm not going to take more of your time. Let's see who's present. Okay, I'm going to try to send you more information about the topic because the topic is difficult. I understand. Like I told you, uh, you are an, an intermediate course and this topic is for an advanced class. Okay, so, but I'll see how I can help. Okay. Anadelmi Carranza de Guzman. Present teacher. Excellent. Brian Odir Perez Araujo. Yes. Brian. Present, present. Okay. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Present teacher. Excellent. Danny Anthony Siguenza. Danny Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Excellent. Dolor Saraí Molina. Present teacher. Nice. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Present. Nice. Eunice Abigail Chávez. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Excellent. Jacqueline Melissa Delgadillo. Present teacher. Nice. Jose Ignacio Franco. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Very good. Jose Ignacio Franco. Okay. Jose Norberto Velasquez. Present teacher. Excellent. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Excellent. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. I'm here, teacher, present. Nice. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Hello, teacher. Excellent. Moises Eduardo Rivas. Don Moy. Okay. Nelson Ivan Hernandez. Present, teacher. Nice. Pedrina Ileana Gomez. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Claudia Lorena Enriquez. Marvin Alexander López. Rudy Pue Flores. Present teacher. Victor Hugo Quintanilla. Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be stopping here, except 
that we have the person who stays tonight. Uh, Anadelmi Carranza de Guzman. Okay. Anadelmi Carranza yes, de Guzman. Yes, teacher. Ace. Okay, the other people, thank you very much for coming. God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye. Take care, my friend. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Well, eh, Doña Ana Del Delmi Carranza de Guzman. Yes. How, what questions do you have, my friend? How can I help you? Mm, it's never, never, it's difficult for me, very difficult. Eh, sorry, would you please repeat what topic? Is uh, level is difficult for me. This level is difficult for you, right? Yes. yes. What part? I try. I try to pay attention, but I don't understand. Uh -huh. Okay. What topics do you need help with? What topics? Um. Show, showing, calling. Um, Once we started a few minutes ago. Yes. Okay. Sure. Let's go there. Yes. Let's see, my friend. Okay. Maybe we should begin from here, okay? I was explaining to your partners these things. She should have eaten breakfast, should have eaten, okay? Uh, should is always debería or debió, but then you have have eaten, haber comido, debería haber comido. She shouldn't, she should have eaten breakfast. Okay, we're talking about the best option. La mejor cosa que pudo haber hecho, pero que no hizo. Should have eaten breakfast. Okay, the other one. He could have asked for help. He could have asked for help. Podría haber pedido ayuda, pero no la pidió. Okay. Could have asked for help. Podría haber pedido, pero no la pidió. He would have helped you. Él te habría ayudado, pero no te ayudó. So, he would have helped you. Why not? Okay. Say it like this. As I was saying, let's have a fresh page. Alternatives. Cuando hablamos de alternativas, alternatives, we use could have, right? Could have. Why could have? Why could have? ¿Por qué could have? Porque esas son de las alternativas. Podría haber hecho esto, podría haber hecho lo otro, podría... Could have done this, could have done the other. Could. Esto habla del pasado, right? Past tense. And uh, not only past tense, but also things that didn't happen. Cosas que no pasaron. Okay? Example. Que podrían haber pasado. Uh, que eran alternativas, pero no se, no, no se tomaron. Okay? Mm. Example. Mary... Eh, lost, no, missed, let's use missed. Okay, Mary missed 
her midterm. Mary missed her midterm. What could she have done? What could she have done? What were the alternatives? She could have asked for another opportunity. She could have asked for another opportunity. One option, another option. She could have talked to her teacher. She could have talked to her teacher. She could have talked to her teacher. Okay, another alternative. She could have uh, asked the bean what to do. Okay, now these are the alternatives. The best alternative should, should have, debió haber hecho. ¿Qué debió haber hecho? What should she have done? She should have talked. She should have talked with her teacher. She should have talked to her teacher and asked him for another opportunity. She should have talked. Debió haber hablado con su teacher. Did she do it? No. She should have talked with her teacher. Debió haber hablado con su teacher. Pero no habló. Okay. ¿Qué habría hecho usted? Well, I would have I would have talked with my teacher. I would have talked with my teacher. Yo habría hablado con mi maestro. I would have talked with my teacher. This is would have. O sea que la de arriba, uh, she should, should, should have. Should have. Es, should have. Es, este, podría haber hablado. No, ese es debería haber hablado. Debería. Debería haber hablado con el maestro. She should have talked with the teacher. And the other is podría. Ese es podría. Uh, would, would have. Es, es podría. Podría. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And this one is debería. And this is habría. This is the difference between the three options. These are alternatives. Could have. She could have done this. She could have done the other. She could have alternatives. The best. The best alternative. She should have talked with her teacher. Mm -hmm. What would you have done? I would have talked to my teacher. Yo había hablado con mi maestro. I would have mm -hmm. with my teacher. I That's, would would have es, yo habría hablado. Uh -huh. I would have talked would have. Do you pronounce? Uh -huh. Okay. Could have talked. 
you pronounce it could have talked. Could have. Could have stopped. Talked. Could have stopped. Talked. Could yes. have stopped. Mm -hmm. Should have talked. The other one. Should have talked. Should have talked. And the other one would have talked. Would have. Would have talked. Would have talked. Should have talked. Could have talked. Could have talked. Could have talked. Could have talked. Would have talked. Would have talked. Okay. Should have talked. Would have talked. Could have talked, should have talked, would have talked. Could have talked, should have talked, would have talked. Would have talked. Mm -hmm. Would have talked, should have talked, could have talked. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I hope uh, now you have a better idea. Okay. I hope you have a better idea now, okay? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Thank you for staying. I'll see you in- Okay, tomorrow. thank you. Thank sure. you. Bye-bye. Good night. Have a nice night. You too, my friend. Good night. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye.